estaba al lado, ya más anciano, también no puedo estar con ella. No puedo estar con ella, pero sé que tú eres. Entonces, cada cosa es como así. Y cada cosa es como así. Salzburg, Austria right now, uh, next to the Nonberg Abbey that was made famous in part by the movie The Sound of Music. It's 1300 years old. I'm excited once again to be in Europe sowing the precious seeds of the gospel, the only thing that can truly change the world. I'm so happy that I've come here and I have to thank my man muss ich da danken, weil der gesagt hat, den schauen wir ja, den schauen wir an, das geht nicht anders. Ja, also die ganze Predigt war, glaube ich, genau für mich gerade. Und das mit dem Thema habe ich mich in der letzten Zeit sehr beschäftigt. Und es hat mir sehr geholfen und weiter, mich weitergebracht. Alles, was er gesagt hat. Ich habe jetzt wieder das Gefühl, eben eine Richtung zu haben. Und das war dringend nötig. Das ist so schön wie Bailey's Gunny in die Herzen von Menschen reinspricht. Sie dort abhält, was sie sind, also ein Bibeltext, der vor über zwei, oder annähernd 2000 Jahren geschrieben worden ist, äh, ins alltägliche Leben. Today has been an epic day for me here in the Netherlands. I had lunch with Brother Andrew, also known as God's Smuggler. And I think tonight is gonna to be epic as well. We've got a meeting in Appledorn. We're trusting God to reach precious souls in the name of Jesus. I'm really looking forward to tonight. I don't know how it is in America, but in Holland, I think only two or three percent are Christians here. And it's, and it's still going down. I realize that I need Jesus in my life every day. Sometimes um, there are happening things in life that you stop praying, you stop having the relationship with God. He just woke me up today again, like, you, you need Jesus, you can't live without Jesus. I've been seeing sermons of Bailey Conley for uh, several years now, and uh, I watch him every, every week on Sunday, every morning. Again, some of the stories that uh, I have heard while I've been on this trip have been astounding. God is doing some amazing things. I remember in one of the meetings, I uh, was going around greeting people before the service began, and there was a lady sitting in the front row, and I, I began to talk to her, and she said she'd been in a meeting a year before, before her life had been a mess. and. Uh, several things going on, one of which her mother had cancer. And I uh, wrote a little note to her mother and put a, a verse from the Bible about healing on it. She reminded me about that. She said, I took it to my mother. She said, so my mother got healed. And here she is, and her mom was sitting next to her, and her face was absolutely beaming. So many Christians brought their friends, their non-believers, to this meeting. So we, we put 755 chairs what is for a German uh, church a lot. <laughs> we have seen that many people came in to the front to the altar call. We need the gospel in Germany and so we are very grateful for the ministry and for his heart to the German people. Many people said that we never sleep in on Sunday. We set our alarm, we get up with the children and we watch answers. Said it's, um, you know, there's maybe not a good church in the town where they live, and it's, it's our lifeline. So it was, uh, it was exciting, it was very humbling, but God's doing some great things. Through the media, we do save lives. Also, es ist seinen hoch angerechnet, dass wir so lange immer wieder fortfahren lassen. Also, und wir sind glücklich darüber. Thank you, because uh, you made it possible for me to watch him every week.